Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Today, two things. An update on a custom center console build and the most awesome transformer camp kitchen you guys have ever seen. This is also you guys can get ideas for your own build. Why? Because you <laughs> were built for adventure and this channel is going to help with that. So will our over 30,000 members worldwide. It's real easy. You grab the free Overland Bound one app on Android and iOS. Just start asking your questions. The community is going to answer them for you. All right. So man, we are so lucky to be working with Parnell, designer, engineer, fabricator, and he's helping us iterate through these designs. When you build something custom like a kitchen uh, or a center console, it requires a lot of iteration. And this channel, lots of our other videos are all about you guys learning from what we do. I go through a lot of iteration, I make a lot of mistakes, and hopefully you guys can learn from that and just take a more direct path. Now, if this is your first time here, my name's Michael. I founded Overland Bound quite a few years ago to help you outfit and explore. All right, now let's get in the rig and go on a field trip. Let's go visit Parnell and see where we're at with the designs. I've got my cardboard box, my prototype, and Parnell and I are gonna look at it and we're gonna see about, we're gonna, we're gonna think about, think about it. it. We're gonna think about it, we're gonna think about it. Let's look at it. The function I'm actually pretty happy with. There are certain size requirements in the front here where it goes in. Oh yeah, you're going, yeah, it, uh, yeah I mean, it's back too far for sure. I think this is all one piece, and this piece is removable. I think, wow, if we could 3D print this thing in multiple pieces and glue it all together and cover it with carbon fiber, it'd be really cool. This thing is really bent, so when we get something in here that's rigid, it ain't going to be able to sit. It's got to just fit in the space. And move the Red Arc's panel, which is a, actually a very cool part of their system, up to right here. Yeah, totally 100% usable. I mean, I can see that. That's absolutely great. Right there, it might start to irritate me. So we're making changes. A few, a few small changes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this box smaller. Okay. And we're gonna make it a one rigid box. You know, I want it to have the contours you want on the top, but everything's gotta be accessible, it's gotta be easy to use, and it, the box can't flat. After quite a bit of discussion, looking at the design, sitting in the rig and talking about everything, we decided I needed to make a solid prototype to make sure the Red Vision and Red Arc and everything fit just the way we wanted it. That was the next step. So that's rigid and it uses the factory holes. Oh, perfect. And that's about all I know. Like how, like, like how we end up actually creating it, don't know. But but at least like we've got some we know dimensions. Our outer dimensions. We've got our outer dimensions. It, it couldn't be any bigger than that. Uh, great. Yeah. So, all right. Now we're here for another purpose. Now that we had solid dimensions for the console. It was ready for the next design phase. Meanwhile, Parnell had made a bunch of progress on the Transformer kitchen. Reminder, Corey has rheumatoid arthritis. She needs to test out the kitchen design and make sure it's easy enough for her to use. So today, Corey joined us to check out the kitchen design. For the folks at home, um, my wrists don't bend, my elbows don't straighten. So what we're testing is my ability to manipulate the weight of this. Here we go, so this is, this is easy peasy. We're good here. This is just a little bit more of a CrossFit move. You know, but not. So if, if, if and then you a figure place. you're gonna be deploying that by yourself a few times a year, is the gas strut really necessary? Yes. Um, I know how heavy this is. This feels like 
absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is amazing. So you, you should be able to just lift it up. With... That's amazing. We spent quite a bit of time talking about different design possibilities with Corey, and Parnell found a way to lighten the Transformer kitchen even more. We've been building the rig since 2010, and this is gonna be the most efficient kitchen we've ever had. If you guys wanna see how this turns out, simple. Just like and subscribe because that video is coming right up. We look forward to seeing you out on the trail, outfit and explore.